Okay, in this video we are going to build the Mini V linear carriage. See it's an aluminum plate here, quarter inch thick. It's got eccentric spacers, some little Mini V Delrin wheels, bearings, and bolts. So we'll build this and we'll be able to ride this along the V slot aluminum extrusion. Makes a nice carriage. for your V-slot projects. Okay, so one of the first things you want to notice about the Mini V carriage is that you'll notice these holes here, you'll have two holes on the top here that are smaller than these holes on the bottom. And the reason for that is the holes on the bottom will be the ones that receive the eccentric bushing. You can see here, i flip this over, it has a small lip on it and once it's in place allows us to tighten our wheels against the rail. So that's why this whole area is open bigger to allow for that screw to move inside of this hole as it's being tightened. So we're going to have two of those that have the eccentric bushing and two that have the the standard spacers on the back here. These holes on the side here are for belt so your quarter inch belt, six millimeter belt will go through here, loop around back onto itself. It makes an easy way to grab the carriage. These holes here are a mounting pattern at 20 millimeter spacings to allow for mounting things such as the end plate for the, the end caps. So you can mount all kinds of cool configurations. You can even mount directly to V-slot itself using T-nuts or mount like this if you wanted to. I mean, there's you could even mount straight straight on. So a lot of possibilities with this one little plate. So let's get started with the build. You're going to need a 5 millimeter nut driver, hex driver, as well as an 8 millimeter wrench to tighten these down. And we're going to start off with our 25 millimeter bolts. And we're going to use the small holes at the top here. You're going to want your quarter inch aluminum spacer, micro precision shim, the mini V wheel, and then the nut. I just hand tighten this real quick just to get going. I'm going to do the same thing with the other ones. Once again, on the uh, small hole. He's built pretty quick. I'm going to use my wrench and my hex driver. Just tighten that down. Don't over tighten it. Make sure it turns. Same with the other one. That looks good. Now let's go with the eccentric. Same process except we're using larger holes. We're going to put the screw through. Right now it's loose in there. Take the eccentric bushing with the lip facing inward. Make sure that the lip goes down inside of the, of the hole there. Take another precision shim, put that on. Your wheel and the nut. Once again, just hand tighten it to hold everything in place. To the other side. So these you want to not tighten down hard at all because you want to be able to adjust them um, against the rail. So you can see this one, the divot is facing out away from the standard uh, wheels. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Just spin this around until it's facing out. And this position will create the, the largest gap between the two wheel sets here which is good because when we go to apply it to the V-slot you'll see it's loose on there right now if, oops. but if I hold this against here and I slowly turn these and I keep spinning the wheel a little bit just to see when I know it's snug you have to, you have to be careful not to over tighten these it can put a lot of pressure as soon as I start to feel it grab a little bit and I'm talking, you know, move a sixteenth at a time. 
when you get closer. I can feel it kind of spinning out on there a little bit, so I'm going to do this one now. And once you get this set, you shouldn't have to mess with it again. But you can always adjust these later. So, one last step that I like to do is to put the wrench under here because remember we didn't tighten these down yet and just give it a little quarter turn to make sure it snugs up alright man there it is well, that's, that's nice and that's not going anywhere that is a sweet linear carriage it's small it's very precise because of the V-Track self-centers and it's adjustable